So, hi guys. I just was uh, thinking I would do a little video. Um, of, I would say I'm midway through this baby's hair. This is um, Reborn Baby Zori by Don McLeod. And she will be available when she's finished. Like I said, this is like midway through. So this is what I've gotten so far. You just keep going. You just keep adding more hairs and adding more hairs. Make sure you're fading them in at the top so they don't, you don't see a distinctive line, stop and go lines. I've been doing painting hair for about um, eight years and um, I am self-taught. I taught myself how to paint hair because to be honest with you, uh, from reading so many heads, I got such bad arthritis in my freaking fingers. <laughs> So like, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can root much longer or can't do that many at least in a row. But, um, <clears throat> so I just taught myself how to paint hair. Here's the key girls. If you're wanting to learn how to do paint hair, you cannot be impatient. I think that some of the worst stall heads of hair I've ever seen were done by people who wanted to see those quick results really fast and put those really dark lines to fill in the spaces. But you have to understand if you're using heat set paints, that um, takes time if you don't want to do it right. You can't just put it on real thick like that because it just won't give, it actually takes away the illusion of the 3D-ness, right? So if you're doing such dark lines and you can't hardly get darker lines to go on top of it to build the color so it looks 3D, it's gonna look bad. So make sure you start with really light lines. You might hardly even be able to see them, but every time you bake, those little hairs will keep piling up, okay? And adding more hair and more hair. So don't be impatient. It's not gonna happen with just, uh, three to four to five layers hair takes oh maybe a hundred layer uh bakes a hundred bakes per head of hair because that's how many layers you have when you do hair is close to a hundred if you're not you're not doing it right if you don't at least do a hundred layers if you don't want the baby to look like it's got 3d hair it takes away from the realism of the baby Some of you guys, you know, probably, you know, do it differently when it comes to painting hair. I, uh, I actually, it's funny because I actually do my hair all differently. Like I never do exactly the same pattern or style on every head. I've never done that before ever. I actually just kind of go with it. You know, that's key. You cannot be scared. A lot of people are like, I'm scared. You know, I'm going to mess it up if I paint the hair. The truth is, it's like, take the freaking leap. Just try it. You might be able to do it. And here's the thing. If you can't do it right away, like, you'll get better and better and better. Just practice on, like, less, you know, expensive baby kits. So, you can practice. I mean, it takes practice. I'm telling you, there's a lot of people who paint hair better than I do. It's not really... And that's honestly, like, I shouldn't say that because they just paint hair differently than I do. We all have it, our own style. Every artist, every single one of you, we all have our own style. So there is no bad. There is no mistakes. That's what you have to remember is there is no mistakes. You turn every negative, maybe what you think is a mistake, into a positive. 
And by the time you're finished, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I made that little mistake. It made the baby look amazing. Sometimes I have to go over like certain areas um, more than once because I, as I look at the baby, I'm like, okay, now I have to change that hair up a little bit. It's not flowed with the rest. So, I mean, that happens. You're not, I mean, when you first start, if you're first starting painting, just, um, first of all, figure out what your pattern, how you want it to look, because that really is the first start to painting hair the way I do it. So you want to start off with, um, I would use a flesh tone, you know, honestly, um, on a, on your paintbrush and just go around the head and create your design that you're wanting to do. Right. And you, that's all light. It's almost like if you're doing a chalk line, you know what I'm saying? So you're going to go over this. You're not really going to see it very much. Okay. At all. So after you do that, you bake that on and then you start off with your, you know, your next color or whatever color. I mix different color browns and mix, um, some skin tones along with like brow brown, ethnic brown. There's lots of different ones I use. I actually use quite a few different colors. And that's what really what you want to do is like start off with like, you know, light colors, right? The under hair and then start adding a little darker, a little darker until it gets, um, because it'll keep building up. Keep remembering that. Don't be impatient. Your hair, it takes a while to grow hair, man. My hair is finally growing out. I'm freaking so happy. I haven't. When I was younger, I had uh, extremely long hair all the time. As you get older, I'm telling you, I don't know what happens. Sometimes it just stops growing. Stress. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, do you see how I'm doing this? I'm basically picking a little section, right? And I'm focusing all my time on adding hairs to this section in a realistic, I feel like a realistic manner. I don't know if you guys can see my view. I'm really hoping I'm even showing you this right. Like a point of view. This is my first time ever videotaping me painting. My first time. Now, sometimes you have to turn the head too. Like right now, Like right now, I am uh, going to need to go to this way. For some reason, I paint better that way um, on the side of the ear. So it's just easier for me. It's just your wrist gets tired after a while, and sometimes your hands only move a certain way. Anyways, I hope that um, this was helpful, guys. Um, again, this is Zori. As you can see here, this is Zori by um, Don McLeod. She will. She is available. She's up for sale. So just message me uh, for more information if you're interested. All right, thank you, guys. All right, bye bye.